Hey folks, I do see him here playing some more Dark Souls 2 on the PC. So, last time we left off, I was in uh, Alia's Keep, but I actually did a couple of things uh, prior to starting this video. What did I do? Well, I found out that I can get uh, Sunlight Blade and Greater Lightning Spear if I go back to the Undead Crypt, so I did. Uh, I got that Lightning Greater, Great Lightning Spear, Greater Lightning Spear, Great Lightning Spear I got in the Undead Crypt. Sunlight Blade I got in the Shrine of Amana. I missed it the first time around. Then I leveled up a bit. So now my character is level 109. And I upgraded my Faith. Uh, it's actually at 40, but thanks to the ring it's at 45. Now the Greater Sunlight... Uh, no. Great Lightning Spear requires 42 uh, Faith in order to cast. But what I did is I used Simpleton Spice, or Skeptic Spice. One of those, Skeptic Spice, to reduce it to 40. So now I can cast it, and I could get a second Lightning Spear, or a Great Lightning Spear, from Strayed uh, if I go back <clears throat> and give him 13,000 souls or so, which I don't have, because <clears throat> I used up pretty much all my souls uh, to get to here. So, anyways, point is, I now have these. When I get more souls, I'll go back to Strayed, and I'll do that. The other thing I can do is I can... I found out I can get another Miracle uh, if I turned my uh, soul of Velstad into straight instead of getting that stupid hammer from Ornifex. Uh, so we'll do that later. Right now what I want to do is go talk to Navlon real quick. So we're actually going to go this way. Because I got the miniature ladder and I'm going to get the next part of his assassination quest. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll go back to the other bonfire in Aldia's Keep, and we'll do, um, we'll beat Aldia's Keep, and we'll fight the boss. Then I'll get some souls, I'll get some more Crater Lightning Spears, or Sunlight Weapons, or whatever I want. I can do a lot of stuff. I'm thinking about using a bonfire aesthetic to fight Bill Stud again. I wonder if that'll make Vendrick harder as well. I don't know. I want to kind of get that weapon from Velsad, although I could wait until the next uh, game. <laughs> so, until New Game Plus. This is my effect. So I get Dispelling Ring. Now let's discuss our next. I want you to kill. Your target will be Kale. While I was trapped in here, he touched me, that <laughs> maniac. I can... He wore a strange helm. Yes. Yes, perhaps. Uh, it won't, but we will kill Kale. Uh, I can get his helm, uh, so from what I've read, I can get his helm by lighting all the bonfires, or all the primal bonfires. That actually means I have to beat the game. I have to uh, get the last bonfire at the end to light all the bonfires on the map and to free Kale. Uh, I don't want to wait until the very end to... Uh, be able to buy crap from Navlon, although there's not much that I actually want from him. I don't know. To be fair, there's not much that I want from Navlon, and there's not much that I actually want from Kale, so it really doesn't matter. But I might as well kill him. But we'll do that afterwards. Right now we are going to teleport to the next bonfire here in Albius Keep, and work our way clo one step closer towards fighting the boss. So that's what I've been up to. Uh, and I already got all the items down here by these uh, meat puppet dogs, so we're going to skip those. And then we'll just go up here, and unfortunately I have to deal with all this crap that's in this area. Basically the ogres and the other ogres. Uh, interesting. Ah, oh, no, he's still in his cage. I wonder if I don't attack him if he leaves me alone. It's a good question. Uh, and I bought more poison arrows, because poison arrows are very useful for what I'm going to be doing here, which is... Oh, come on. Which is this. I do want to save most of my spells for uh, for the boss fight. I believe I can summon help for the boss, which I'm going to try to do. So 
right now we just watch this. Wait for this guy to die, then I have to trigger the other ogre. And then the other one, so there's two more freaking ogres. Where I can move on with my life. Oh, come on. You got so much HP and I have so little. Maybe I should just go attack him. And I'd like to make sure I have Lightning Spear here for future use. Alright. Nope, didn't work. Shit. Let's try this again. Damn it. arrow it is. Alright, now this guy, unfortunately, is going to come running after me as soon as I hit him with poison arrows. Or not. Well, that's odd. Hmm. I didn't expect him to just stand there. But, that's what's happening, so it's fine. Poison him a few times, wait for this thing to work. Did I get all those souls from killing this guy? I should farm this area for souls. I think it's well worth the eight or so arrows, poison arrows, maybe a few more, but it's well worth the price. These guys give me 2,000 souls each. And there we go. How many is that? 1,100. Maybe worth it then. Alright, now this guy. I don't know why they don't attack. Maybe they only triggered initially when I would have walked through this area, and now they're kind of. I don't know. Done. I guess. I'll wait for this poison to run out, I'll hit him again, and then I'm actually gonna go explore the side rooms. When I come out, he should have very little life, and we'll figure out what to do with him after that fact. So. Poison total does about 1200 damage. Alright, we're gonna go clear out some of these rooms simply because I haven't yet. Don't fall down there. I want your stuff. You gonna come over here? Huh. Well, that's interesting. what he's working on. He's got a rip cage of something. Huh. Uh, the dogs. Dogs are down there. This looks like, I would almost say giants or golems piled up. Bodies piled up there. Alright, the ogre is almost dead, or should be. A couple more hits from some arrows should do it. Good. Very annoying, but it's done. Now there should be a basilisk somewhere. I kind of want to clear it out so that I don't have to worry about it. Uh, Simpleton Spice is alright. Twilight Herb is good. Where the hell did the basilisk go? I knew there was one somewhere. Hmm, strange. But okay, whatever. Now we're gonna clear out this area. Should be a few guys here who will come and attack me. And then that giant mushroom who will also probably come and attack me. No, don't. No, 
I'm just gonna run back here. And you won't be able to hit me. So, come on and fight me. I love the range on this weapon, on this sword, but uh, it's not as fast as my other one, and so I'd, it doesn't seem as good, even though, I mean, it's pretty good. I think it does actually more damage. Alright, don't do it. Oh. Well, I guess I'm going to do that instead. I didn't realize these guys, these guys could heal this pop a life chum. And since I don't want to get close to that thing because it will uh, destroy my equipment, it's this way. And that'll kill it. Meanwhile, we collect all the crap that's in the area. Large soul of a brave warrior. Great. Whatever you dropped. Petrified dragon bone is really great. No. There we go. Actually, hey, I can run through the cage. It's small enough for me. What's that? I hear sounds, I hear noises. But I don't see anything. Uh, soul of a proud knight. Cool. Um, so, we can use the key to open this door, but it doesn't really do much for us, I don't think. Oh, that's the carriage on the other side, making that noise. I wonder if the hippos can destroy those carriages, and I bet this has a lucionary wall, but there isn't one, so stop lying to me, game. Now, now that everything's cleared out of here relatively quickly, it didn't take too long, we're going to pop a human effigy. Go human. Uh, heal ourselves. Well, we'll heal ourselves in a moment. Uh, what I'm looking for is summon signs, but mostly I think there's an NPC I can summon for this. I hope. Uh, I don't... I might be able to do it without an NPC, but I thought I might be able to summon Baneheart of Jugo. Maybe? I don't remember seeing a summon sign last time I was in this area, but I'd like to think that I can summon somebody. Maybe it's by the bonfire that I never found. Uh, actually, make sure to avoid aggroing the hippo, because I don't want to have to deal with it. I don't know why I'm hitting these paintings. Cool. That makes me happy. So where the hell is the summon sign for this guy? Is it here? Is it near the bonfire? Is there a summon? We'll find out in a minute. Let's go check out the bonfire. That's the only place really last time that I didn't check because I didn't know where it was. Hmm. Maybe not. see anybody. I'm going to check real quick here, my other monitor, just to see if uh, if there is somebody, because if there is, I want to make sure. I, I could have sworn Banehart of Jugo was here. Hmm. Damn. Benhart. And Heart of Jugo, that's the one. Where the hell are you? Uh, encounters. Ju -ju -ju. No, I guess not. Well, that stinks. Um, so no, I can't summon him for this fight. Is there another NPC that I'm supposed to summon? Let's see. Find out in a sec. But I don't feel overly confident that 
Um, blah, blah, blah. No, maybe no. No. Um, so. No, I don't think there are any NPCs that I can summon for this fight, and that's okay. Um, I can try this fight on my own without any NPC summons. Of course, if I die, it's gonna be tough. I mean, I'd have to basically kill all these hippos again uh, to get back to the boss. Not the worst thing in the world, just a little tough, a little annoying. And I'm making sure that I have this ring equipped. I should actually forget about faith. And instead, what the hell is this? Oh, this bundling, that's good. But, you know, forget about chloranthy. Do I have a fire resistance? No, damn. Okay, then we'll keep that ring. I don't know where I got the plus two fire resistance last time, but that would have been very useful right about now. So instead, I'm just gonna pop a gem. I'm gonna switch swords. I like this one better. My Hide Knight sword. And uh, I'm gonna do this while I can. Get some crazy lightning damage on it. Here we go. So let's try it. I think I know more or less how to do this fight. Just have to kind of not get hit <laughs> like that. It's kind of like all the giant fights. Stop. Drink. He flies, which means I run the hell away, I think. Okay, when he flies on that wall, I run the hell away in this direction, I think. Yep. Because he breathes fire. He's gonna just stomp down. And then I want to be basically under his feet. He's gonna do some stomping or something. Use his neck. Basically, just run. He does that. And unfortunately, there goes my lightning. Oh. I wonder if I can. Well, first things first. Let's avoid getting hit. Whoa. Or staggered for that matter. Where are you going? I can't... Okay. You know what? Fuck you. Shit. Uh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Or what happened there. I think if I run underneath him... Targeting is really screwing me up, and so is that. Shit. Shit! Shit, okay, I need to be right under his feet. And I don't know what's going on, but I need to drink a lot. Oh, shit, 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 okay. I don't see a damn thing. Okay, still got hit. No problem. Avoid, avoid. And drink. Alright, so far so good. Avoid. Avoid. Avoid getting hit by his face. And where is he going? He's going over there. I'm gonna go over here. Just be as far away as possible. I don't know if this will be able to hit him. Yeah. I probably should be closer to him. In case he breathes fire. Actually, that's a good attack. It's not hitting me. And I might be able to kill him. Yes. Phew. Wow. All right. Good. Didn't know if I'd be able to kill him on my own. First time trying, and I guess first time for everything. Ben Hart of Jugo has let me down. <laughs> I wanted to summon him. Didn't get to. 
Dragon scale is good. Um, if I want to join the Dragon Covenant. And now we're off to the Dragon here. Plus, I got a whole bunch of souls that I'll be able to spend on good stuff. Mainly more uh, Great Lightning Spears and Lightning Weapons. Sunlight Blades. So I'm debating fighting Vel Velstad again by making uh, that area New Game Plus. I don't know if that means Vendrick will be New Game New Game Plus as well. Or not, probably. Which I'm not looking forward to. But we'll find out. Now we talk to what's her face again? Bearer of long have I awaited one such as you. One who might shatter the shackles of fate. One who can set me f bearer of the curse. The ancient drag take this. H Do not resist. Aged feather is really good. Um, aged feather allows us to return back to the last bonfire used without having to use uh, an actual bonfire aesthetic. Not a bonfire aesthetic, a homeward bone. That is awesome. I thought there was an item up here that I just had to kind of look for. Am I wrong? Am I missing it? No, I don't think so. Maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm making it up. Each feather from her. That I am missing. If we go and look around. No, I guess not. Crazy awesome skybox with the dragons all flopping around, or drakes, I guess, technically. They're not full grown dragons yet, they're baby dragons. There's a ladder up there that eventually we'll be able to kick down for a shortcut, but for now, we have to go this way. Um, do I want to clear any of this out? Kind of do. I want to clear out at least some of the beginning area here. Uh, and I didn't realize last time I could just go... You know, I can't just go up. So I do have to go this way. Okay. And that guy there, actually, the safest thing to do would probably be to just shoot him. doesn't kill me and knock me off the bridge here. So, crystal lizards. There's a lot of them here. And I do mean a lot. A lot. Um, there's going to be one back there. I wonder if I can do this. No, crystal lizard. have to come back here after hitting a bonfire I'm gonna go fight the first Drake I don't know why it might be dumb I'm gonna do it why oh cuz I have that as well. ah there we go oh, he's missed and he can apparently hit me from there okay well then lesson learned and I don't have any lightning spears. You know what? Forget it. I'm not going to go fight that first Drake. Screw you, buddy. I'm going to go back to the bonfire. So, we're at the Dragon Eerie. Uh, a lot to do here. A lot of items to pick up. A lot of good stuff. Twinkling Titanite, Petrified Dragon Bones, uh, Titanite Shards, Chunks, all that stuff. All from Crystal Lizards that seem to love this place. But, we're not going to do that yet. What I'm going to do is go visit Strad, Strad and uh, buy some more greater, Great Lightning Spears. Uh, I'm going to... Well, that's... Uh, number one priority is Great Lightning Spears. Oops. 
I realized I can actually go fight the Throne Watcher and the Throne Guardian, which I kind of want to do as well. Because they had some good weapons potentially for me. So I might do that. So, buy an item. Here we go. Yes, thank you. And yes, thank you. Fever, cast one. Do you really? I don't know. I'm not gonna buy. I think I'm gonna stay off the hexes. <laughs> stay off the hexes, kids. It's bad for you. But um, no. Uh, in all seriousness, seriousness, I don't need hexes that much. I don't think. Um. Yeah. I want to stay away from the hexes. I'm going to go free that Melfinita. Melfinito. I think she gives me a Chloranthi ring, plus two or something. Summon signs. Red summon signs, white summon signs, all the craziness. Let's go free that Melfinito. And yeah, I need, for that, I need to get the key to the embedded from my inventory. Because I was treating it like a weapon. Uh, free the Melfinito. That doesn't really give me that much stuff, except I could go to the Melfinito area. And then I'm gonna go kill the, that cartographer dude, because he's had it coming. And then we'll see what we do after that. I'm tempted to go kill the two giants in the uh, Black Gulch area. So I can get that forgotten key, which will give me access to, I believe, in a, another Greater Lightning Spear, Great Lightning Spear. Although I'm not very impressed, frankly, by how much damage the, lightning, the Great Lightning Spears are doing, the Greater Lightning Spear are is doing. So you, we do that and kill you. This will open up, and this lady will be free. <laughs> and she just kind of yells at us and fades away. Ring of the Dead. Uh, so this makes us look alive, even if we are hollow. Also makes her sing. Um, which I guess is good. But the Ring of the Dead, it's cool. Might be fun for PvP, but not really useful. In fact, I could definitely think of much better items I would rather have for PvP than that. But we got it, so what are you going to do about it? Nothing is what. Um, now I'm going to go kill the cartographer dude because, uh, frankly, why not? Uh, if I kill him, I won't be able to get his armor set. I don't really need or want his armor set, as far as I can tell. And I'll be able to get a new game plus, so. It will mean I have sinned and I can be invaded by uh, blue. Uh, by blue phantoms, but. Um, but that's fine. And then that should allow me to use Navlon as a merchant. And I don't remember if he has anything that I actually want, but whatever. Even more. Yeah. Did you One, see two, three, the flame on the four, map? Five, six. So there should be two more flames uh, after this, but. My, my. But you're not gonna live to see him. There we go. Now we can go back to Navlon. We can apparently get our sin abolished if I go and talk to Cromwell. I can get my sin abolished. I'm just curious to see what happens when I do. So let's go do that really quickly. It should be pretty quick to talk to him. I don't think there are any new 
things that I need to actually buy from him. Any new uh, miracles? But I just want to see how much this costs. If it's not too much. What do you mean I have not sinned? I just killed an NPC. Okay. Well, I'll take your word for it. Where's that curse bite ring? I really should buy this. Just to have in my inventory. Uh, and I already have one of these, right? It's two of those, actually. Force. Crossing prayer. Force would be fun. Um, in Belfry Luna, and I could just knock people off the bridge. Just stand we on the bridge, wait for invaders, forget. and knock them off. But. Uh, but that's not why I'm. I'm not gonna do it. I'm lazy. I don't want to. So now we go back to Navlon. Where's Eldius Keep? Here. So I'm doing a few housekeeping chores basically. Here. And then the other items that I believe he wants is a sunlight staff and an aged feather. And I should have both of those, so. Uh, except, damn it, I need to be dead. I need to be hollow for this. Crap. Uh, what's the easiest way to die? I can die. the ogre up there, I guess. That sucks that I have to be dead for this. I wonder if I can talk to him as human. I'm pretty sure I can't. If that is the case, I'm gonna go back to uh, the dragon area and just wait to die. I have, I have absolutely do not him to help me, just... Yeah. He doesn't want Please. us to free him. Please. Yep. Uh, Alright, so he won't talk to me unless I'm hollow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the H feather in place of... Uh, in place of... Uh, homeward bones. Not that it matters, but the H feather just lets us do this unlimited... Of times. I don't know if it carries over into New Game Plus, so that's one good reason to save Homeward Bones if I want to use them in New Game Plus, not that I've been using it much uh, throughout the game here. So we're going to go to... our Dragon Eerie. And we're going to kill some dragons. Actually, first things first, first the bonfire two spells. Let's get rid of this, because it's not going to be that useful here. And instead, we equip another Greater Lightning Bolt and two more uh, Sunlight Blades. So there we go. We're pretty, pretty stacked as far as all of these spells go. Great Lightning Spear, Sunlight Blades. I mean, it's craziness. This one. I think it's in my interest to just run in and hit a bunch of times because. Shit. Alright, there we go. Barely got it, but I got it. So, large Titanite Shark, Twinkling Titanite, and a Pale Stone. Awesome. Now, how the hell am I gonna kill this dragon? Fire resist would have been great. Don't have it. Gonna have to live with it. Uh, sunlight blade. Let's go ahead and equip that. I guess I gotta run up there and basically fight the dragon right underneath its feet. If I try to do otherwise, he's just gonna keep throwing shit at me. Yep. Fireballs and shit, so I'm just stand down here and hope for the best. I shouldn't target. Right, better off 
not targeting. But I gotta make sure he doesn't destroy this. Oh shit. Alright, maybe I will target. Swipe with this button. And I also want to be able to see what I'm doing. This is very confusing. Until I get hit like that, damn it. No. Ugh. I can't see a fucking thing. Stop moving, you piece of shit. Now you're really pissing me off. There we go. I don't want to have to do this again. Petrified Dragon Bone from the Titanite. But it's hard to pass up all these crystal lizards. Some of them didn't even freaking aggro on me, so even better. Okay, one of them looks like the Nagro on me. But still. Twinkling Titanite, Titanite Chunk, whatever. So a Brave Warrior. Let's not fall down in there. Not that it's too terrible, but this brings me back down to this area. There might even be an item on that ledge. I do hear another Crystal Lizard somewhere. I think it's up there. Uh, but before we go up there, so this is Candyland for Dragon Tooth, which is, I think, the same kind of item that Havel had. It's a great club. There's another Crystal Lizard. I can just hit him with a regular Lightning Spear. If I can target him. And he doesn't run away. A large Titanite Shard, Petrified Dragon Bone, and Raw Stone. Is there anything here? Nope. up here. What I do know is Navlon's not going to invade me and that makes me happy. So, Ah, I could have gone up here to fight the dragon and then he would have just shot fireballs all over. Um, I'm going to drop down this way, but I will drop down here Oops. to see if there is any Alright, so that's the first area cleared. I am going to go back to the bonfire real quick and just re-clear this for the rest of those crystal lizards. Uh, you know, it's faster if I do this. Makes sense, right? So those dragons will just be tougher. Not that much tougher, I bet. In New Game Plus, but tougher be newer enemies around so that's why I kind of don't want to use bonfire aesthetics on the other hand they will give me more souls so maybe it's worth it once I clear this area and uh, kind of unlock all the shortcuts and stuff will give me more souls will let me get more items I can upgrade more weapons not that I have any weapons that I really feel like upgrading but could. So we'll see. Something that I'll have to think about. And I can hear the crystal lizards beckoning me. I can hear them up here. Just can't see them yet. There's one, there's another. Alright, like the spirit. They're dead. There's at least two more up here. Maybe three. Okay, two more. Yes! Don't run! Don't fade away! Okay, good. And then one more over there. Boy, I'll be able to hit. I think that's all. Which makes for a total of five crystal lizards just in this one area. More Twinkling Titanite, more Petrified Dragon Bones. 
titanite slabs, large titanite shards. Very awesome stuff. I could upgrade so many weapons with this. Titanite chunks, petrified dragon bone, old mundane stones. Yeah. Very much awesome. And then I could go this way if I wanted to, it doesn't matter. I plethora of directions that I could choose. But unfortunately I will have to fight more dragons no matter which direction I try to go. Then this guy's over here. Oh shit. Don't knock me off! Okay, at least... I think he doesn't hurt me, but he does damage my equipment and knocks me off. Yeah, my equipment's a bit damaged. It's okay. Radiant life jump. This way, there should be another dragon somewhere. I think it's on that island up there. There's the two of them up there, kind of going around in the opposite direction that I did the first time I, was, I went through here, but that's fine. Nope, here's what we're gonna do. I'm doing this wrong. I can shoot him, I just have to uh, target and headshot. So there's going to be a dragon up here, which I will fight. Uh, yes, cast that. Whatever good will do me. Get out my Estus Blast. No, don't cast it twice. I tried to hit shield, but instead... Where's my shield? Where's my dragons at? I should be just poisoning, honestly. Make my life a lot simpler if I use poison and now this is it. Why do I think that this is a good idea? better ways of fighting this guy. Uh, I'm thinking, well, first of all, I forgot to unequip my ring of life protection. That's fine. I'm sure I'll die again. It does leave me with all my souls, luckily, so I don't have to worry about going there. I'm going to equip the bracing of the ring, which will protect my equipment a little, um, but I'm not going to equip the ring of life protection because I do want to actually die and go hollow. If I die and hollow out, that will allow me to um, do something. It will allow me to uh, go talk to Navlon and also go do the Melfinito thing. Part that I can't do otherwise. These dragons are laying eggs half haphazardly, basically, wherever they feel like it. It's not. Good way to live. It's not healthy. Alright, so that guy's in here. He's over this way. So I'm the same thing last time I was taking that walkway, this time I'm taking this walkway. But I basically end up in the same area. I just gotta uh, kill these guys quickly before they can. I think this guy is over here. Nope. He's over here. Explode and destroy all my equipment, and that's the way I want to go to the dragon. No, no, it's not. I want to go this way. Yeah. One day I'll learn how to fight some of these guys and learn all the different patterns of all of these enemies. But today's not that day. This guy, I'm just gonna. So, dragon. Problem. 
Uh, I remember last time, the way I fought him, was instead of facing him head on, I went around this way. Got the item that's over here. Whatever item that was, I forget. There's some item over here. No. Uh, petrified dragon bone. So that's what I need for upgrading boss weapons. And then I just poison him. But seeing how I have these things, maybe instead of poison. Okay, maybe I won't be able to target him easily. Poisoning you at least from here. At least once. Alright, good. You're poisoned. Now he is gonna spit fire and it is gonna go through the walls, so I'm gonna run away for a little while. And I am gonna try to hit him head on from here, because I don't think he'll come out here. He's a greater lightning spear. Let's see if that'll work. Alright, I mean, he apparently will come over here to breathe fire on me. He might be able to knock me off this ledge, so that's why I gotta be careful and run around. Maybe I'll just... How do you know where I am? You can't see me. I'm crafty like that. Poison him again. No. Shit. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. That's why I wanted to make sure I wasn't near a ledge. I did that. I'm thinking I should just go fight him now. Shit! Okay, I was afraid that would knock me off. No, don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. Maybe I should go fight him at this point. Might be able to kill him. Done quite a bit of damage. Breathe. Breathe fire. Perfect. Thank you. You guys do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, not quite enough. Not as much as I would like. Stop. Or use your face, I guess. Whatever. Whatever's more convenient. Shit, don't do your tail attack. Stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp. Uh, these guys are incredibly tough. Um, all things considered. And I'm not looking forward to having to fight them in New Game Plus. Well, once again, Fraps and Dark Souls 2 don't want to cooperate. Uh, they don't want to play together, so I got kicked out to Windows, and uh, so here I am. Uh, I'm going to be piecing these two videos together. So we'll see how that works out, hopefully. Well, now, one more dragon. This one, I theoretically can hit from up here. As long as I don't fall down for some stupid means, I might be able to just kill him with a ranged attack. Won't be able to come up here and get me. Are your latent spears? Don't let me down! Haha! <laughs> That's awesome, I got him midair. There should be a crystal lizard right below me. No, with the regular lightning spear. And get this one. Alright, and then I'll have to come back for these other ones because they're, you know, they're gonna run away as soon as I come down here, basically. Take that one. If I can target it, I might be able to get it. Got, got that one. The more I can get now, the less I'll have to get when I come back, basically, so. Twinkling Titanite, a whole bunch of good stuff, Fire Drake stuff. All these items come back um, if and when 
I use a bonfire aesthetic, so it's definitely worth it. Um, just dragon charm. It just means I have to fight all this crap again. And this just brings me around back to the other area. I'm just checking it for any items or crystal lizards. Nope. Okay. So I think at this point it's worth using the Ancient Feather to go back, although I would like to kick open the shortcut. And I don't remember exactly where I do that. Where I go to do that. I think I have to take this bridge first. Yeah, that's what I do. So I take this bridge. This bridge leads me to the Dragon Shrine. I don't think there's anything here. This is where I would have been invaded by Navlon already. Uh, is there anything down here that's worthwhile? No. So if I go back this way, and I take this rope bridge, this will bring me back to uh, near the starting area. down this ladder, which will make then accessing this all of this much easier from the bonfire. Good. Okay, ladder kicked. Now if I go back down here, uh, there is that item that I can see but don't know how to get exactly. Oh, wait a minute. Rope bridge. Where's this item? I think it's right there on this ledge. Yes. I think once I get it, I have to use the H feather, which is fine. Alright, let's not fall off. Um, let me cling tight. Okay, good. H feather, yes. So now we can go back and just farm all those crystal lizards real quickly. way to do that would probably be to go up here and to take these rope bridges back. So this one that we'll grab. And eventually I'm going to try to get that item and that's probably how I'm going to die and go to visit Navlon. But first things first, we go back this way. Here, either explodey dudes or crystal lizards. It's hard to tell. I think it's crystal lizards. Yep, all of them have this chime. Right. I thought there were more in this area. I guess not. I was wrong. So I guess there were only two in this area. That sucks. And it's still good. I got a ton of items for upgrading my equipment, but sucks because, I don't know, I want more. More crystal lizards. Okay, it's fine. There's going to be plenty in this area. Man. Okay, maybe not plenty. Maybe one more. <laughs> Two more. Large Titanite Shard, Titanite Chunk, and a Petrified Dragon Bone. Three more. Okay, I'm going to get all three of these. think about um, popping a bonfire aesthetic. I started to run away. I got it. Twinkling Shard, Twinkling Titanite, and a Fate Snow. So, bonfire aesthetic. Yep, it's tempting, but before I do the bonfire aesthetic, the other thing I want to do is unlock the bonfire to the dragon shrine because if I do find myself in a bad situation where uh, I made this area too hard and I can't get by it, I can at least just go to the dragon shrine and forget about it. So we'll I'll be doing that in a little bit, but first let's see if I can grab this item. Actually this is dumb. If I die here I lose all these souls. I'll die somewhere else, <laughs> basically. Uh, let's forget about dying here as much as I wanted to. 
I still want to grab that item because I think it's the soul of a great hero and I think it's worth grabbing. But I'm going to do it this way. So I think I draw... Nope, that's not how I drop down. Uh, I think i got to press the B key. I pre what did I press? I pressed the X key. Uh, it wasn't the right key. Let's try that again. That's cool how this area connects. Once you figure it out, kind of how everything uh, works, it's pretty easy. All right, so I think I need to press the B key right after the stairs here. Damn it! Okay, almost. Uh, stairs, ladder, whatever. Right after the ladder, I needed to press the B key. Again. Glad I unlocked the ladder so I can just climb up. Alright, here we go. I think it's a soul of a great hero, is what that is. And now. Yes! Don't fall off! Soul of a great hero. Yeah, that's like 20,000 souls or something, so. Probably worth it. I don't know. I don't know how much more leveling up I want to do. I'm pretty high level already. Alright, so now I go back to Majula, and I'm gonna die in Majula. <laughs> I'm gonna die the way I lived, in Majula. So if I gotta die, I'm gonna die. Uh, sure. I'm gonna die if I just plunging into the, uh, into the hole here. I actually kind of want to hey. buy the ladders from these, what? from this guy. Well. Uh, and the reason why... You? Alright, we'll skip this. Hey. And the reason why is well. because one of these leads me down to, uh, another greater, great lightning spear. And I forget hey. which one. The only... Cheers for that. <laughs> I'm gonna avoid spending 20,000 with them though. Uh, let's see if I can make this fall count. There we go. <laughs> that's not, that's the Grave of Saints. There is another fall somewhere here that I actually want to take. I think it's that ledge. Or maybe it's one higher. That'll lead me to a locked door and if I get the forgotten key from the two giants in Black Gulch I should be able to open it. And, uh, and do that. The reason why I wanted to die to a fall here is because I wanted to have my souls easily accessible. I didn't want to die in Dragon Eerie uh, and maybe not be able to get my souls. So now I got these. And now I can go talk to Navlon again. And I can do the Melfinita, uh part 2 that requires for me to be dead. And just for the hell of it. Let's equip the Ring of the Dead. Where is the Ring of the Dead? There it is. So we look nice and alive. Nobody can tell the difference. Perfect. Uh, travel. All the keep. It's right there. And ritual site is not the bonfire I wanted to go to. I don't know why I instinctively go to the last or latest bonfire. I want to go back. Rest. Travel. All the keep. We'll get it right one day. First bonfire. And we go talk to Not Long. Uh, after this, I'm going to put a break in this video. And then I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do. I'm thinking uh, before I go on too fur much further, and I forgot to go get the uh, Dragon Shrine bonfire, but I'll do that before I even think about burning any uh, bonfire aesthetics. Speaking of which, I could buy a bunch of bonfire aesthetics from Navlon, which I probably should do uh, if I want to farm for any items or anything like that. But I want to do some jolly cooperation. I don't know if I'm too high a level for it, though. I might be. Whee! Alright, so. <laughs> this is. Take it simple to spice, which is good I if I was a mage. Your time. 
as proof. What do you say? Yes. Yeah. So but I think he requires his staff, which I, I already have. He has that. I want you to. Oh, are he you has shitting me? Scepter. Okay, so I guess I have Bring to. It to me as proof. I have to go to the bonfire and come back. That's annoying that I have to do this a few times. I really can't wait to play a sorcerer because it seems like sorcerers or sorceresses have the most uh, versatility in spells here. Uh, they've got hexes, they've got a ton of sorceries, um, just a ton of different items. As a faith character here, I mean there's a ton of faith spells, faith spells too, but it just doesn't seem like as much. And I guess I have a better use for pyromancies, but the pyromancies seem kind of weak compared to um, compared to other stuff. I do like my lightning spears, though. I want you to. He has that. I thought I had the scepter. I don't have it in my inventory. Damn it! That's what the problem is. It's not that I had to go back to the bonfire. It's that I didn't have it in my inventory. I'm sure. That's what it was. So, in a box. It's one of these. I'm just gonna grab everything. I know, I think it's the sunlight staff. I know I got it from the mimic outside here. I can either get it from Falcon, which is the guy that sold me some of the hexes in Huntsman's Copes, the very first bonfire, or I could get it here. But, we'll just get it here. Um, yeah. So let's go. go. Do this thing. Yes, maybe. There we go. There we go. A little bit annoying doing all this running, but um, this is forbidden sun. Now let's. Do I think that's a pyromancy. You maybe? could kill a dozen like that, and it wouldn't. I want you to kill the girl. They say that she is the last firekeeper. That's interesting. But they so that she's, she's a gentle shepherd, lighting once she is dead. I will, the girl will have a now go. Yeah, God, your reward. So unleash magic. What do you recall? You've been good. Uh, if I These talk are to for you. Cool. Chaos set, whatever that means. The specs of and items. So he's got a bunch of caster stuff, which I mean, maybe I should actually be buying it, but not. I will buy the ring. That's really good. I can't use these, even though I have the bow. Um, Dwarf's poison greatly restores HP. That's tempting. And this does me no good right now. This stuff is tempting to buy because, oh, this is going to be most of my money. Uh, because, yeah, it seems really good. Great HP restore and spell use. Uh, and these are obviously useful for stuff. Find what you want. Um, you know, seeing how I don't want to have to come back here as an undead, I am going to pop a couple of these. Uh, screw it, I'll pop all of them. For a total of 60,000 freaking what souls. You, Holy crap. Been... And now we go buy item. And we will buy the last crimson water. We'll buy as many of these as I can take. Can I buy one of these? Yes, I can. Find what you wanted. So now we're stocking up. Uh, in fact, if we look at how many bonfire aesthetics do I have? 15, wow. And I can get some more uh, from some of the other merchants and I think a few other drops. I know there are a few in Iron Keep that I've missed because of the fire. Basically, I'd have to run on the fire. And I don't want to, so... Anyway, it's pretty damn good. Pretty stocked up. So... What am I going to do next? Uh, let's quickly go to the Shrine of Amana, and we'll do the whole um, Melfina thing that's over here. Because uh, I don't think I did that in my last 
playthrough, so this is kind of unique. Uh, but after that, I think I'm going to put a break in the video when we come back. The plan is going to be to go to the Dragon Shrine, beat the Dragon Shrine, figure out what to do after that. A whole bunch of undead here. Oh, slightly annoying. Just kind of surround you. I wonder if... Can they... Do they hit me? I guess they do, and they hit quite hard. No, I was going to heal, but... Uh, you know what? Lightning spear. Lightning spear. Now you're dead. Bleed stone, that's kind of cool. They dropped that, except I don't really care about infusing any of my weapons. My... Somewhat poorly played Dex character. This guy is tough, um, but I'm gonna try running at him. Casts hexes. Pretty tough hexes, actually. Oh, he's got holy shit. Uh, he's got that kick-ass helm that I see people wear. I want to backstab you. I wonder if I can just farm this guy and if he drops that helm. Be the helm. No. Damn. Still good. That restores spell use. Okay, the singing stopped because you're here, Miss Melfina. Who are you? Melfinito. And what do you want from us? Melfinito. That is what we are called. My name. Do you mean our name? We know nothing of the... They know nothing of the outside world. We sing eternally for those who bear death and dark within themselves. We have been here forever. They have we been here forever. The and they know nothing of the outside the world. The ones were born from the great dead one. Oh, that's cool. And the great dead one taught us song. Great dead we one have is Nido. Ever since. To comfort those bound by death and dark. This is what we were taught. We hear a song. You rescued a Milfanito. Who was taken from us? Take this. I think that's the one in the castle that I rescued. She gives me a fire seed. You silence that cup. Please accept these as a thank you. Divine blessing. Do you seek you both? Take this. And she gives me a smooth this is and all silky stone. Sil smooth and silky stone and then refuses to do anything else. Um, uh, but that's cool. So get some stuff from her. And then I don't think there's anything interesting down here. Start singing again. Um, there is some items down here, I think. One item. Which is another fire seed, so I probably have enough to upgrade my pyromancy up to 10 if I want to. Can't say that I necessarily want to, and I think there is a chest down here. That gives me something. I don't remember what that something is. Manslayer. Which is yet another sword that I probably can't do. Oh, it's a katana. That I'm very close to being able to wield. Huh. That actually might be kind of good if I wanted to upgrade my... If I wanted to do a dex faith build. I think there might be items out here, there might not be, I can't tell. No, no, there's the edge. I don't think I can go anywhere else. Treasure ahead, I don't think so. I have been known to be wrong before. Can I go on this edge here? This edge, this ledge, I guess I can. Ah, there is another treasure that I didn't get last time. So I actually missed this on my other character. Bonfire aesthetic, see? I knew I could get more bonfire aesthetics. Perfect. There's no stopping me. Uh, so the bonfire aesthetics respawn items, but they don't respawn items in, I think, iron chests. So items that just sit on the ground or items in plain chests get respawned with a bonfire aesthetic. Iron chest items do not. 
Why do you stop singing whenever I show up? It makes me feel self-conscious. Alright, aged feather, we go back. Now we'll have to figure out what we want to do after this, but... Um, but here we are, so... A lot has been accomplished, a lot has been done. We've bought a bunch of stuff from Navlon. Uh, I don't want to die again. Maybe I should go back and buy a few more items from him, buy the rest of his bonfire aesthetics. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. And from what I gather, bonfire aesthetics are well worth it. Uh, or maybe I won't. Um, Alright, so I'm going to figure out exactly what I want to do for the next episode. But we're going to have to do that when I come back. So until then, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, my name is Aduce. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you keep on tuning in. And I'll see you folks next time.